The volleyball team, winners of 13 straight matches, hosts Michigan on, at the Fieldhouse on Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. on the Big Ten Network. Then on Saturday, the Badgers play at Iowa at 7 p.m. Head coach Kelly Sheffield is here. We'll have some opening comments, then take questions. Well, I guess a few notes uh, from this previous week. Uh, you know, survived a tough one out there in, in Ann Arbor. Uh, first five-gamer that we've been in in, uh, uh, in conference play and, and down 13-11 in the fifths. Uh, came back and uh, outscored them. Five to one, and uh, sneak out of there with with a hard fought win, and then a couple of days later, uh, really tough. It was three game sweep, but it certainly didn't feel like that against uh, Michigan State, and um, uh, not a. Don't think there was a whole lot of defense being played in that particular match. I think both teams were hitting at a pretty high percentage, but it, nonetheless, uh, two good wins. We we're fortunate to get. Thought Haley Nelson, uh, really proud of her after uh, a rough week prior to that. I thought she had a great, uh, great weekend. Kelly Bates, I thought was uh, was spectacular at times as as well. And and uh, we've got Michigan again. So uh, this time back at our place. Uh, so it uh, that should match up to to be another another Jim Dandy. It probably never seemed easy, but these last three or so have been more of a struggle even when you sweep. Are teams doing anything differently? Is it strictly things you see on your side, or are teams adjusting to what they've seen over the first 10, 12 matches of the conference? That's a good question. I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, you know, I, I didn't. I didn't think we played particularly well against Indiana. Uh, I didn't think that we played particularly well against uh, Michigan. I thought uh, Abby Cole had her had her way against us. We we really had a tough time slowing her down. Uh, we didn't slow her down at all. When she didn't get a kill, it was almost always because of her own error rather than anything that we did. Um, I'm not sure that we. Uh, uh, I don't know. For whatever reason, we weren't dialed in the way that we needed to be dialed in against against Michigan. And uh, if, I, I don't know. It, I think a lot of that had to do with them. It just felt like we were going uphill the entire the entire night. I mean, the entire night was a struggle uh, for us. And uh, they were they were doing uh, everything they were doing. We were, we had a tough time with uh, Michigan State. Um, I thought we played pretty well. I thought they had a really good game plan. They, they executed. I thought we played pretty well, especially offensively. We we had a tough time slowing them down. Um, but uh, I think it's a little bit of both. You know, November this is a this is a tough time for for everybody and uh, uh, all the fall sports. You, you know, I I don't know if we're tired. Other people are playing. They're playing pretty good volleyball against us. I mean, we're getting everybody's best shot. Eric? With the expectations that you guys have, um, do you enjoy wins like that, or do you walk away with it feeling like a loss when you don't maybe play as well as you hope? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a good question. You know, Michigan, I mean, that's it was important for us to be tested like that. Uh, we didn't play particularly well, but, but we survived. And, and to, to do – to win at the highest level, you're going to have nights where just things things aren't going your way. And are you able to battle and stay together and fight and all those things? And I thought we did a really good job with that. And we talked about that afterwards in, in the hotel. We got to East Lansing and got them together before everybody crashed for the evening and just and told them, you know, hey, really proud of them. Not just the fact that they, that they won, but they were able to stick together. And... Uh, you know, we hadn't been challenged like that. And sometimes you can just sit there and just fall apart and just say tonight's not our night or have a bunch of excuses or whatever. And we just kind of, we kind of stuck together and, and, and kept going. And, and, uh, and we were proud of that fact. We, we didn't think we, we weren't excited about how we, how we went into the match because I didn't think we were locked in and ready to go the way that we needed to be. But I was really happy with how we responded to kind of a tough time. So, yeah, we felt we felt really good coming out of out of that match, and uh, we felt really good about how we how we played at Michigan State because it, the previous two matches we didn't play real well, and um, you know, and so that's one of those things. All right, uh, is 
two matches where you don't play well is one thing, but uh, three is a trend, and we don't want to go down that road. And so uh, there was a lot of positives coming out of this past weekend for us. Brian? Kelly, there are a lot of good freshmen in this league. Michigan's got a couple of them too, but Kelly Bates, um, where does she fit in the, the realm of things in the conference as far as rookies are concerned, and what type of impact does she had on your team? Yeah, I, where she fits, I'll let other people figure that out. Um, I know that we've got a kid that is just growing by leaps and bounds, and uh, uh, you know the confidence that she has. I mean, that, she took match. Uh, she took both uh, in the final rally of the match against Ma Michigan. She took both swings. One of them was a really nice play that they made, and the second one, she put even more heat on it. I mean, it was with it was with authority and just buried that ball to, to end the match. And, um, you know, she, uh, her head coach has been on her quite a bit this year, and I think she's responded really well. She's she's growing. She's got a lot more confidence. Her game is just expanding. Uh, we don't hide her like what we did earlier. Early in the year, we hit her a, a lot in serve receive, and uh, she's turned into one of our, our top passers the past month. Uh, Offensively, you know, earlier in the year, she had one or two shots, and if we played a team that was able to defend those, uh, she had she had no answer and would just uh, get taken out. And right now, she's got a lot of different tools. Um, she's uh, she's growing as much as any freshman I've been around, and uh, is it's is a massive role for us. Anything else, Coach? All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, Kelly.